In this video, I'll show you a couple different ways we can use Reaper features to get audio in and out of Reaper without using cables. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them later. So the first thing I'm going to show you is setting up uh, Reaper with the reroute ACO driver. And we'll do that in order to get audio uh, from Reaper into OBS for recording. Reroute ACO driver, it's an optional Windows only function in the Reaper installer. So I'm just going to update my Reaper and make sure that this option is checked. So I have Reaper updated, and here's where you'll find this ACO driver functionality. It's actually not in the Reaper preferences for your audio system. This will actually work even if you select set this to dummy audio, where there's no actual audio output. A reroute or reroute is actually in the mixer or the input section. So um, if we go to the input and go to input stereo, we've got reroute one and two. So that's if we have something outputting to reroute and if we go to the mixer, we've got my regular audio output here on output one and two. If I click here to create a new hardware send, select reroute one and two, and let's get in some audio. In order for OBS to get an ACO driver input, you need to have an extension. So what you need is the ACO plugin uh, 3.1 is the version I'm using. Download the installer, run it, um, restart OBS, and you should be good to go. And if we click plus on a scene uh, for a scene source, we've got ACO input capture. Select this. And for device, we'll set this to reroute. And we'll set an input. Let's do one and two. And OK. And so if I grab my Reaper, make sure this is playing. You can see input on the meter and also you can hear it. And what we should do here is also go to advanced audio properties and choose which audio channel this is actually going to go to. In this case, I would want this not going to channel one, which is my mic, uh, but it would record on channel two and any other channels here. So that's how we get audio out of Reaper into OBS through the reroute plugin. Let's look at getting audio from a standalone synth into Reaper, again, using the reroute plugin, or reroute driver. So I've got a basic audio track here. I'm going to arm it for recording. And I'm going to set this to input one and two on reroute. I have reactor open here. And if I go to the audio and MIDI settings. I have the ACO driver set to reroute. And under routing, it's just going out to channels one and two. And if I play this, you can see it here, but I you don't hear it yet. And that's because we have to arm this or monitor input. So I'll just mute that for now. And this looks like this. Monitor input on, record input, input stereo, reroute one and two. And you're hearing that through the mixer again, because we've got this reroute um, one and two here. And so I'll unmute that, look in OBS, we've got that set there. And then using this, we can record in real time the output of a standalone synth. Get the random button here. Or randomize the effects. And, you know, this will work with any standalone synth that you can choose which audio driver you're using. So this would be great for VCV rack or, you know, contact, uh, reactor, anything that you want to work in more of a linear fashion or like um, a sound capture 
workflow where you're just making sounds, recording them in as audio, uh, but you don't want to worry about you know, multiple devices or cables going through. It's all losslessly recording uh, into Reaper through the ACO driver. And because it's an ACO driver, it is pretty good latency as well. So there's a way you can get audio from a standalone synth into Reaper. And then one last thing I'll mention about reroute is that because it's an ACO driver, you can't set that to be like your system audio or anything like that. You can't set your web browser to an ACO output. They always use the, the basic Windows audio function. So you can't go from a browser through reroute into Reaper. It just doesn't work like that, unfortunately. But there are other non-ACO virtual audio cables that you can use in that situation. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I'm going to recommend a few Skillshare classes here. Uh, Intro to Digital Audio Recording, Learn the Basics of Reaper DAW. And this is presented by Brian Knapp. It's about an hour and it's a great introduction to learning Reaper for beginners. And after you get through that, maybe you want to check out Complete Electronic Music Production for EDM Music Producers. This is a over 15 hour class and uh, every conceivable aspect of EDM production, no matter which DAW you use, I think there's a lot of great tips. And then another one that I've been going through recently is Improve Your Interviewing Skills for Podcasts, Blogs, Journalism, and Academic Research. I'm starting up a podcast again, so I want to have some good skills uh, going into interviews and, and having conversations with other creators or musicians and uh, having more interesting things to ask them and to talk about. So that's just a few of the interesting classes that I found uh, recently on Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video will get a free one month trial to Skillshare Premium, giving you access to every single class and workshop, including offline access on a uh, tablet. So if you wanna learn new skills this year, Skillshare is a great place to be. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And the next Reaper feature I wanna show you here is actually a way to get audio from any computer on your network that's running Reaper uh, to output audio into uh, Reaper, some other computer, or actually any other device that has uh, VST2 plugin support. So sending audio or receiving audio over the network using a Reaper plugin. So that plugin is the Restream plugin, and there's actually two versions of it. There's one version that comes with Reaper, and then there's another version that comes in the Replugs VST effects suite. And these are quite old. Uh, they were last updated in January 2016. The standalone VST version allows you to use it with OBS on Windows. Um, there is not a Mac version of these plugins. But I will show you how to go from a Mac running Reaper and the Restream plugin that's included with Reaper going over to Reaper on Windows. And yeah, you'll see how this works. So let's get an audio track here and go to the effects chain. And let's put on the Restream plugin. And this is the built-in version of the Restream plugin. And we want to capture audio on this track. So I'll just uh, toggle this over to receive audio MIDI. Let's say we're not recording it. We just want to monitor it from another computer. We don't need to record enable it or monitor enable it. It should just come through this plugin. And now switching back to my Mac, I have an audio file on this track and I have the Restream plugin on this track. So whatever comes through this track will go to this plugin. I've got the identifier here set to Restream PC, sending on local broadcast. So uh, this should be there by default, but in case it's not, it's asterisk space local space broadcast. And that just means like send it on this network. You can actually send this out to a specific IP address, but yeah, local just, it seems to work. It just grabs this identifier on the other end and it works. So on my Mac, I'm gonna press play here and it's looping some audio out. Going over to my PC, we don't see any audio coming through this track. That's because the identifier is still set to default. So we'll just change this to restream 
PC, and it comes right through. And you're able to hear it because I still have the reroute ACO driver um, send on the master track. So that's how you get audio over the network using the Restream plugin. There's lots of other ways to do this stuff, but I thought it'd be interesting to go through some of the Reaper specific options here and, uh, and show you some of the ways that I use them and a lot of other creators use these. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.